Um, yes, could I get uh, one McDouble, one medium fry, and one medium drink, please? What kind of drink? Coke. All right, anything else? That'll be it. Okay. All right. Nice camera, by the way. Thank you. I'm actually filming a YouTube video right now. Oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Sean Wisdom here and what you just seen was me eating some McDonald's. You know, it really hits the spot, but nothing hits the spot like another episode of Oh So It's Funny Now. Today, I wanted to tell you guys a story that um, I like to call, I think I'm gonna call this one, Better Finish Your Plate. Better Finish Your Plate. Better. 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 Finish Your Plate. This story started, um, I think I was about 10 years old, and my good old mom had me eating some McDonald's, actually. Had a little Happy Meal, was in the little box, you know, when it had the, the golden arches up top, and they had the cool toys. Those were the days, man. <sighs> Anyways, I was eating some McDonald's, just enjoying my little double cheeseburger with fries, hanging out, and I'm chomping down, chomping down, but after a little bit, I was like, man, I'm I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go play, man. Being outside is the best, and being inside and eating is just not working for me. I just can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. I couldn't do it. I just wanted to play. So at the time, I just wanted to be outside. So I finished my fries. I finished my chocolate milk, um, my apple little slices and everything. I was done. I was done, but I had about half of a burger left. So... I didn't think too much of it. I just took the burger, put it back in the little paper, and just sat it on top in the trash can. No harm, no foul, right? I mean, I ate half of it. At least, can I get half credit, please? Come on. So, as I'm skipping and running outside, my mom catches me at the door. Hey, what you doing? Oh, nothing, mom. Just about to, nothing. Just about to go outside. Okay, where's that burger at? I, so I walked in there. You're still eating that. You're kind of, you know, taking time with it. Did you finish the burger? Um. Well. No. No, I didn't finish the burger. Well, if you don't get your ass back in there and finish that burger, you're going to be grounded. Grounded for three weeks. So I went in there. I didn't want to be grounded for three weeks. Three weeks is a long time. That's like a million years when you're a kid. One million. I did the math. Um, I carried the one. I took the decimal and moved it over. Boink, boink, boink. It's a million years. Exactly. So I went in there and I'm sitting there crying, just sobbing, eating this burger like it's the worst thing ever because I want to go outside so bad. Just. <laughs> Why? Absolutely, just falling out. <laughs> so over dramatic, just to eat a burger, it was ridiculous. And so um, I ate the burger, went outside, out, you know, later, and I was just like, yeah, whatever. So it was almost like that was a test. Um, it was, it was. I was a very, very picky eater when I was a kid, so I feel like this was a test, a test of my stomach and my fortitude. About two weeks after that, I'm presented with a, another challenge, a challenge that will shape me into the man I am today. A challenge in resilience and a challenge in the fight of a man. My mom, about, like I said, a couple weeks later, put a plate in front of me. This wasn't in any ordinary plate of food. I was pretty confused as to what I seen in front of me. It was a plate of, of okra, and not the fried kind, like the, the seaweed, the seaweed looking kind. Or at least that's what I remember it looking like, like a, like a seaweed-ish sludge, it was just, I couldn't do it. So she's like, yeah, eat this, this is, this is good, this is okra, you're gonna love it, it's, it's great. And I'm like, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh no. I'm getting tested on what happened a couple of weeks ago. 
I gotta figure a way out of this. I can't sit here and muscle this down. This isn't McDonald's. It's okra. I don't know what the stuff is. I don't even know what. So I sit down. I do the PB and J noodle dance. You remember that one? The PB and J noodle dance. I did that. I, I did that. And I sat down trying to figure out how can I get out of this predicament? What can I do? So what I did is I ate a good chunk of it. Good, good chunk of it. I'm like, yeah, man, that was good. And my mom's like, you liked it? I'm like, oh, I loved it. You know, I liked it so much that I think I'm ready for bath time. Little did she know, like I was some type of Russian spy with a cyanide tooth, like in um, Captain America, and I had stowed away all of the okra in the side of my mouth. And so I go through bad time, I go through TV time, and I go through play time with, the, with this chunk <laughs> of okra just shoved in the side of my mouth. Like I was trying to smuggle it on a plane or something. And so I go to bed that night, still have the okra in my mouth. And it's, it's been about four hours. It's been just in my mouth. Just, and then in the middle of the night, I want to say it was probably like four or five in the morning. I woke up out of a, out of a deep sleep. <laughs> I woke up and said, I got to get rid of this stuff. So I woke up and in secret, and I crept through the night like some kind of ninja. Ninja. I said ninja. God. Like some type of ninja. And I snuck through the night, found the nearest trash can, and I just. <laughs> and until this day, I've never had okra since. That is the end of today's episode. Thank you guys so much for coming, checking me out. I tried a new location. There's a little bit of road noise, but I think it's all right. Remember at the end of the video or the middle of the video or the beginning of the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, watch it with your kids, everyone. Check me out, and I will see you guys on the next one.